I'm Bob Riggio, with me is Rosemary McMahon, and uh, Rosemary, bless her heart, <laughs> is one of the very few women that has a, uh, a Veterans Honor banner hanging up. We are so proud of you, Thank and you. she's been a veteran, she's been a wave. <laughs> for a couple of years, and this is her story. You no. were a WAVE. WAVE. Which is an acronym for what? Why don't you tell us what that acronym okay. is? Okay, Women Accepted for Voluntary Emergency Service. Okay, why did you sign up? Tell us that story. Well, I was about two years out of high school, and I worked in a local bank, yeah. and one of the gals that had worked there went into the service. She came home on leave, and she sold me. How did she sell you? I mean, was it the uniform that she, she no, was wearing? No. It wasn't the uniform. No, they didn't have nice uniforms like we did. The Waves had the best uniform. Yeah. In fact, we were fitted. Is that right? Yes. This was a small town. There wasn't much there. The guys, of course, were all gone in the service. Didn't have any guys to go out with. <laughs> so, Rosemary, you <laughs> followed the guys. Is that the reason? <laughs> Is that the reason? That's a pretty good idea. <laughs> I lived in Michigan. Okay. In a small town. And really You grew up in Michigan, yeah, right? You're, yeah, I grew up in you're, Michigan. You're, went to school, graduated there, worked for a while, okay. and that's where I joined. In Michigan, not not in Belfouche. Yeah. So the bank that you were working in was in Michigan? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Right outside of Chicago, Niles, Michigan. Okay. And when I went in the service I got on a train in Niles and went into Chicago. Was that the first time you've been away from home when you joined the service? Well, far away from home, yeah. Because I went from there to Virginia. And that's quite a ways. How old were you? Let's see, 18, 20. 18, just a kid. Yeah, just a I kid know. out of high school. I know. And, and you left your home and traveled Halfway across the country, yeah. pretty much. To get to Norfolk, Virginia. Were you ever any concerns? Did you have any concerns about doing this as a young lady, all by your, all by yourself? Well, the thing of it was, you weren't by yourself. After, after I got to Virginia, and well, when we did in Chicago, I took the train, got to Chicago, and in Chicago there was a Navy guy yeah. waiting to join all the women that were coming. Yeah. And then they took us to Virginia. And you made friends with the other waves that oh, you were yeah. with yeah. and... Um, so you weren't... The, you weren't by yourself. You weren't by yourself. No, no. So you didn't... And plus, probably didn't have time to get really homesick or... You know, no, your they, they kept you busy in those sure. sailors. They, they drilled you. We were in Norfolk, Virginia. In the summertime. What time did you have to get up in the morning? Did get you up at five in the morning? Oh, and, something like that. And you had a, did you have to march and all this? Mm -hmm. March the breakfast? Mm -hmm. Was the food good? For Navy, come on, the food had to be the, the very good. I thought it was. I had no complaints about the food. It was entirely tasted good, no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> did you have some free time? Mm -hmm. Or were you pretty busy seven days a week? Uh, no. In the beginning you were, but then after, when you completed that, then you were supposed to go to wherever you were going to be stationed. Well... Navy wasn't ready to for, yeah, transfer for, you yeah, to yeah, your, you to your duty go. station. Yeah, yeah. So, we just kind of teamed around. Yeah. And you know, that was, in a way, that was kind of nice, it was kind of boring too, because you couldn't go any place. Yeah. You know, you stayed in a, like an apartment building. Really? Yeah. And, and, and where was basic training? It was it in Norfolk? In, no, it was in New Navy, York. In New York? Yeah. So you so went you, from a little town in Michigan to New York State. Yeah. We were on the ocean. There was a uh, station on, we could see the ocean from it. Yeah. And we and lived in apartment. Life was pretty good. Well, no. 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 <laughs> you know what you had in the apartment, don't you? One bed and uh, a little closet. Oh, is that it? Yeah, yeah. And there were what ordinarily would have been a bedroom for a family. There were four waves in. Okay. <laughs> and then when your duty station opened up, then you were transferred yeah. to near Norfolk. Norfolk, yeah. Yeah, Norfolk. Yeah. I was stationed at Norfolk, Virginia. Huge. Fleet Service School. 
Fleet. Flight Service School. Fleet. Fleet Service School. Service School. Huge naval base. No. no. We weren't. We were by the Navy, the big okay. Navy base. Okay. But this was a school where the, the sailors came in off of the ships, went to school, got a higher rating, went back to sea. Okay. So there was a constant turnover of sailors all the time. And and your duties were what at, at this location? Them. You paid them. You were extremely. <laughs> I was in the dispersing office. Rosemary, you were extremely popular. <laughs> yeah, well, extremely popular. <laughs> Not really, because they knew if the waves came, you know where they were going to go. They were going to go to sea. Oh, is that right? Well, yeah, that's what we were there for—to replace them. Uh, tell us a little bit about. So, how long were you there? You were there for how many years? Two. Two years? Probably, yeah. Yeah. How did the gov government take care of the waves? Did they do a good job? Well, I think they did. You know, I was happy when I was in there. Oh, except when, well, then I met this guy. And we fell in love. We got married. And I got pregnant. You got pregnant. And I got out. And you, and you had to get out back <laughs> yeah, then. Yeah, you I could not to, be pregnant. I had no choice. In, in, in the yeah. Yeah. Did you feel I, a sense of pride while you were serving the country? You're too. Good for you. Good for you. I wore my uniform proudly. Good for you. And Norfolk, on Saturday, all you could see were white hats. Oh, I bet. I bet. And I just want to say to the folks at home that you have a banner. You have a banner that's hanging up. You're one of the very few women who has a banner, an honor banner, oh. that's hanging up on, uh, on the Canyon Lake Drive. We're, we're really proud of you. Really thank you, thank you. you. And you've, you, you've given talks to schools, right, Rosemary? Yes. Tell us a little bit about that. Well... I mean, at, when you when was, you got out, when you got out... No, it was when, yeah, when I got out. When we were living here, and um, my, I had two kids, and they were growing up and going sure. to school, yeah. you know. And they had the programs on Veterans Day. Yes. At, South Park or whatever that school is over there. Mm -hmm. And they uh, wanted to get veterans to help put on the program. So they found out that I was a veteran and I got hooked. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you've That's been doing it for a number of years, I understand. Well, yeah, I think probably like, well, I was only in two, so I only did it for two years. But this is why, that's what all these notes are for when I, when I give the program there because those kids, they have questions, I'm sure. Oh, oh I know goodness. it. I know it. I just, I just get them. Hope I can answer them. I hope <laughs> I can answer them. <laughs> and if I couldn't, I said, I'm sorry. I don't remember that. They would transfer the, the I think, the, the information record. from the ship to our office somehow. I don't yeah. Know did that. But. But you didn't write checks, though. I, I can't. We paid them in money. In cash. Cash. You paid them in cash. Yeah. Did you do this? <laughs> so you had to be extremely. Uh, how much money did you were you working with? I imagine. Well, well uh, hundreds of thousands base, of dollars. Well, our base wasn't that big. I told you. Yeah. You know, it, it was like school, uh, school to school the guys so they could go back. And I don't know. Maybe we had. I suppose if we had 150 guys there, that was probably. The oh, most. that was that was the most. Yeah. yeah. First class guy in the office. He ran the office. This first guy, Tommy, was his name, and he ran the office. The other guy just sat there. And what was his rank? What was Tommy's rank? Did he have three stripes, or yeah. how many stripes did he have? I think he had three. And before I got out, he got to make chief, which is the highest. Were any of the women made supervisors of, of, of a group of? Of sailors, when you of were men. Of, 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 well, I, I wouldn't think men, but no. So your boss was, was a man as well. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, on this station, there were only five wives. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Where where the one where I went? Okay. At at Fleet Service School, there were only five wives there. Let me ask you this. When you joined, did you have a choice of where you wanted to be located? <laughs> no. no. They told you. They told you. And and you mentioned that you you were never put on a ship. Were waves no. ever put on a, on, Not on actually, a ship? No. 
Not at that time. So you, you never were, you never went overseas or anything nope, like that. No, nope, no, nope. Pretty much stayed, uh, stayed yeah. in the U.S. Yeah, stayed in Virginia. When the war was over, and I was out already. I was pregnant, and I had been going to a doctor in Norfolk. But my husband got out, so we didn't want to stay there. You know, we want, we want that baby because he. He grew up south of Rapid City. Okay. Uh -huh. McMahon well, name down there. And so he, we were headed back there. I don't know how he managed to get a car, but he did anyway. So we got a car and drove back, and here I am like this. Oh. <laughs> to outside of Rapid. And I thought I'd come to the end of the world when I got out of the car at a ranch. You know, nothing out there. Oh my goodness. And, I can't do this. And what was your husband's name? Dalton. Dalton. Okay. And he was from uh, just near Rapid City. Yeah, he was yeah, born yeah, raised yeah, yeah. yeah. Near Fairburn and Hermosa, in that okay. direction. Okay. <laughs> Come on over here, young lady. Yeah. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us. Well, I hope it did some good. Oh, it was